This video is a short retelling of The Godfather set in Kyoto, Japan, during the Tokugawa era, reimagining the classic tale with samurai honor and intrigue. Chapter 1 The Rise of the Hattori Clan In the heart of Kyoto, during the waning years of the Tokugawa shogunate, the city thrived as a center of power, culture, and clandestine conflict. It was an era marked by the strict social order of the samurai the shogun's iron-fisted rule, and the silent wars waged in the shadows. Among the many clans that vied for influence and honor, one name began to emerge with a reputation that commanded both fear and respect, the Hattori clan. The Hattori were not traditional samurai, rather, they were descendants of the Iga Ryu, the famed ninja of Iga province. They had long since abandoned the clandestine life of espionage and assassination, choosing instead to navigate the complex web of politics and power in Kyoto. Under the leadership of Hattori Hanzo, a man as enigmatic as he was revered, the clan had transformed into a formidable force, their ancestral skills now serving them in the art of negotiation and strategy. Hanzo, known as the Shadow Shogun by friends and foes alike, was a master of subtlety and influence. His word could start a war or broker a peace, and his favor was sought by many. The Hattori estate, a sprawling compound discreetly fortified and guarded by men as silent as the night, was a place where alliances were forged and fates were decided. As the cherry blossoms began to bloom, signaling the arrival of spring, the Hattori clan was poised to solidify their power. A marriage was arranged between Hanzo's daughter, the sharp-witted and beautiful Akemi, and the son of a prominent daimyo. This union promised to elevate the Hattori status even further, securing their place among Kyoto's elite. But the path to supremacy is never without obstacles. Whispers of dissent echoed through the halls of power as rival clans viewed the Hattori's ascent with envy and suspicion. The most formidable of these adversaries was the Kirogane clan, led by the ruthless daimyo Kirogane Tetsuo. His ambition was as legendary as his cruelty and he saw the Hattori's rise as a direct threat to his own quest for dominance. As the city celebrated the season of renewal, the undercurrents of intrigue grew stronger. Hanzo, ever the strategist, was aware of the looming storm. He knew that the survival of his clan depended on the careful balance of honor, strength, and cunning. The Hattori would need to navigate the treacherous waters of political alliances, backroom deals, and the unspoken codes of the samurai if they were to emerge victorious. The stage was set for a saga of power, betrayal, and honor, a tale that would be whispered through the ages. The rise of the Hattori clan was not just the ascent of a family, it was the dawn of an era that would forever alter the tapestry of Kyoto's history. And at the heart of it all was Hattori Hanzo the man who would cast a long shadow over the city and shape its destiny with the subtlety of a whisper and the force of a storm. Beneath the silver glow of the moon, the ancient city of Kyoto lay draped in a silence that belied the turmoil within its walls. The Hattori clan, once the architects of peace and power, now stood on the precipice of ruin. The Kirogane had struck swiftly, their betrayal cutting deeper than the sharpest katana leaving the Hattori to grapple with the specter of their downfall. In the heart of the chaos, Hattori Hanzo, the Shadow Shogun, faced his greatest challenge. The blood of his kin stained the cherry blossoms, a stark reminder of the price of ambition. Yet, in this moment of despair, the true strength of the Hattori emerged. Hanzo, with the wisdom of his ancestors coursing through his veins, refused to let the legacy of his clan be extinguished by treachery. Summoning the remnants of his once mighty house, Hanzo devised a plan not of vengeance, but of redemption. He reached out to old allies and forged new bonds with those once considered foes. With each alliance, the Hattori's honor was slowly restored, their influence rekindled like the embers of a smoldering fire. The final gambit came under the cover of night, as Hanzo and his most trusted warriors infiltrated the Kurogane stronghold. Not through force, but through the very art that had defined the Hattori, stealth, cunning, and an unyielding spirit. They reclaimed what was stolen, not with the edge of a blade, but with the binding of a sacred pact, one that would ensure the prosperity of Kyoto 
and the survival of the Hattori name. As dawn broke over the city, the Hattori emerged not as conquerors, but as guardians of balance. Hanzo, with his daughter Akemi by his side, watched as the first light of day touched the faces of his people. They had weathered the storm, their honor intact, their future secured by the wisdom of the past. And so, the tale of the Hattori clan came to be a legend whispered in reverence, a story of fall and redemption, of a clan that rose from the ashes to stand once more as the silent sentinels of Kyoto's delicate harmony. In the annals of history, the name Hattori Hanzo would forever echo as the man who, in the face of adversity, chose the path of honor over the allure of unchecked power.